Today I'm going to attempt to rebuild this four barrel carburetor. It's a Holley 600 CFM carburetor. It's taken off of a 75 motorhome. 75 to 78 motorhome is what they what it said. I'm using a four barrel carb instead of a two barrel carb because the two barrel carbs were hard to find. The only ones I could find were about 700 bucks, brand new. Couldn't find any used ones. Um, so I bought an adapter plate and if I like the bus and likes how it runs and everything, I will change the intake from a two barrel car, two barrel intake to a four barrel intake. Um, the Ford trucks and the Thunder chickens from that era with the Y block had a four barrel, uh, intake manifold. So I'll just swap it to one of those. First things first, let's just tear it all apart and uh, go from there. How these bolts look is an indication how this is going to go. This ain't going to be a good, it's going to be nasty. So both float bowls are actually absolutely disgusting and are missing. Well, this one's missing some springs. This one's spring is there, but it's missing some other stuff. It's just, it's awful. So I got it kind of stripped all apart. A lot of these parts are just too gummed up to get off, like that one. Um, so I'm gonna let it soak in some diesel fuel for a couple days. Hopefully that eats all the gum and grime and nasty stuff off of it. I'm back working to rebuild my Holly carburetor that I bought for the bus. Uh, as you can see, it's kind of gross. It's been sitting in this mixture of diesel and transmission fluid for a while, but I haven't, but I haven't been working on it, but I have been doing stuff like grinding, notching, you know, doing a bunch of metal work in this area of the shop. So the, the sparks and everything flew over and landed on this. So I need to do an extreme deep clean of everything. It is pretty gross. All right, I forgot what this thing's called, but I got a new diaphragm for it. Because, as you can see, this one's just... It'd probably work, but it's kind of gross. So, i got to take this little piece off of here. There's a little C-clamp on here. And then, so I can put it on this one. Well, that went somewhere. Probably never going to find that again. So, every time I tried to put that in... The spring would push this down. This is the old one. Push it down. And then these little rubber parts would go away from where I need them to go. Because it would suck everything down. So how I did it is I put it in a clamp. And then made it so this can't move up and down. And then compress the spring. And then put the top on. So therefore, the spring couldn't move 
down, couldn't push this down, couldn't pull these little ear pieces out of there. So I could put the bolt in, tighten it, get it all good. Searched high and low, finally found a C-clamp, C-clip, that'll work. Finally got that little clip in. If you can see it, finally got that little clip in. I had to sit, it, sit there and file it down for a while, but I got it to work. So I have the secondary vacuum thingy, diaphragm thingy, and the choke rebuilt. Put them up here. And I'm going to start doing the task of cleaning all of this out. It is disgusting. So I was able to pry this off of there. And it is just disgusting. I've cleaned this up a little bit and I've let it sit in that solution for a while. But it is just gross. This side, not as bad. But yeah, everything's really gross. Next, I have to get this plate off. And these screws have a weird head. I think they're called like double D heads. I don't know if you can see them, but like they're awful. Screwdriver won't fit in there. I don't have the actual head for it. Um, so my plan, the paint can opener, it's pretty thick. So I think if I cut the tip off of it, like this little angled tip off of it and grind it down, I can make it fit in there. Assembled, except the choke and the secondary um i forgot what it's called but these i put back together already cleaned and put them back together but everything else hasn't been cleaned it's been sitting in diesel and atf for about a month and a half now there's no real trick to clean this up afterwards i'm just gonna have to use some elbow grease and just clean everything out I got an old toothbrush, a wire brush with kind of soft bristles, and a carb, carb cleaning kit, or, you know, just the little picks and everything, and a razor blade on vice grips. So... <laughs>
inside of this blow bowl is just disgusting. I took the float out and it's all cleaned up. The spring was missing. I didn't you lose the little C-clip. It's right there. So that's a plus, but start cleaning this thing. This pretty clean now there's still a little bit of stuff but I can't really get to it so I'm gonna call this one good have this float bowl assembled I did replace the spring but besides that everything's old it's clean enough they might they'll probably have a little bit of dirt and grime fall off here's the other float bowl put the float back in it and uh, the drain back in it and looks not that bad now I'm gonna get to the I'm gonna do this little part first if you're looking for names of all this stuff you're in the wrong channel because uh, yeah I forgot the names I'm horrible with names and I will not remember them so end of this episode I was able to clean all the clean the carburetor up pretty good next episode hopefully next week I'll put her back together with all of this this <laughs>